Hey guys, Montana with Craft here. Today I'll be showing you how to paint your own planter using the fruit edition of the Croft Paint and Pot Kit. So first, make sure to subscribe and then we'll get started. Today we'll be painting the papaya pot. To get your station ready, grab a cup of water, the paints and paintbrushes from your kit, and one of the planters. There's also a cardboard insert in the paint and pot kit that can be used as a paint palette. You'll also want something on hand that you can use to dry your paintbrushes with. We'll start with step one of our instruction booklet, which is to add a white base layer to your planter. We'll use the bigger paintbrush for this. The base layer doesn't need to be too thick, so I'm only lightly coating the planter with white. Make sure your brush strokes are all going in the same direction and that you're painting the bottom curve of your planter. Next, we'll mix white paint with just a touch of blue and a touch of yellow to make a lime background. I like to add an extra touch of yellow to my lime mitts. When mixing paint, it helps to sweep the paint into one puddle by moving your brush in a circular motion. Moving on to step two. We'll switch to our smaller brush and mix white paint with a touch of red and a touch of orange. We're going to use this peach color to outline some papayas. Notice how instead of guiding the brush with my fingers or wrist, I'm moving my whole arm in the shape of the papaya and letting the bristles of the paintbrush do the work. Then we'll fill the papayas in. For step three, we'll add some orange to our peachy mitts and create depth by painting circular shapes inside the papaya. Let's rinse and dry our brush, then move on to step four. We'll mix white, yellow, and a touch of blue to make green, then outline our papaya. To achieve a thinner line, I'm holding the paintbrush like a pencil and using just the bottom of the brush. If you're liking this video so far, be sure to like and subscribe. For the next step, we'll use plain aqua and add another outline to our papayas. For step six, we'll rinse and dry our brush and then use plain white to paint centers on our papayas. While we wait for our papayas to dry, let's skip ahead to step eight. Using a mix of orange, red, and white paint, we'll paint some grapefruits in between our papayas. Alternate between painting them on the top and the bottom of your planter. Then we'll make some more green paint and draw some leaves on our grapefruits. Feel free to also draw leaves on any part of the pot with empty space. Next, we'll use plain red to add some dots to our grapefruits for texture and depth. I'm again holding the brush like a pencil and only using one edge of the bottom to paint my dots. Once your grapefruits and leaves are all done, feel free to add another layer of white paint with your clean brush to the center of your papayas. For the final step, use the edge of your smaller brush or a paint pen to add some seeds to your papayas and whatever other details you'd like. Dark brown or black is the perfect color for this step. Big 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next.